Mythbuntu. What happened to Ubuntu for TV? Remember the days when turning your old PC into a home theater system was the pinnacle of tech savviness? Back in 2007, a project named Mythbuntu emerged, aiming to simplify this process by integrating the powerful MythTV software with Ubuntu's user-friendly interface. It promised to revolutionize home entertainment setups. But what happened to this promising venture? Let's dive into the story of Mythbuntu. What was Mythbuntu? Mythbuntu was an official flavor of Ubuntu Linux, specifically tailored to transform computers into dedicated home theater PCs. HTPCs. At its core was MythTV, an open source application that offered features like live TV recording, pausing, and an intuitive program guide. Mythbuntu streamlined the installation and configuration of MythTV, eliminating the need for manual setups and making it accessible even to non tech savvy users. By adopting the lightweight XFCE desktop environment, Mythbuntu ensured optimal performance on various hardware configurations. It omitted unnecessary applications, focusing solely on media-centric functionalities. The inclusion of the Mythbuntu Control Center further simplified system configurations, allowing users to manage settings, install plugins, and update software with ease. Why was Mythbuntu special? During the late 2000s, streaming services were still in their infancy, and broadband internet wasn't as widespread. Mythbuntu filled a niche by offering seamless integration, combining Ubuntu's stability with MythTV's media capabilities. User-friendly setup, simplified installation processes catered to both beginners and advanced users. Customizability, options to configure systems as front-end, back-end, or combined setups. Community support, being an official Ubuntu flavor meant regular updates and a supportive user community. For many, Mythbuntu was the go-to solution for building a reliable and efficient HTPC. The Decline of Mythbuntu Despite its initial success, Mythbuntu faced challenges that led to its discontinuation in 2016. Developer attrition Over time, the development team dwindled from around 10 active contributors to just two. Maintaining the project became unsustainable. Shift in media consumption. The rise of streaming platforms like Netflix and Hulu reduced the demand for personal DVR systems. Emergence of alternative solutions. Lightweight media center distributions like Libre Elec and Open Elec, which boot directly into Kodi, offered plug and play solutions without the need for extensive configurations. Wikipedia hardware advancements. Devices like the Raspberry Pi provided affordable and compact alternatives for media consumption, further diminishing the need for full-fledged HTPC setups. Life after Mythbuntu While Mythbuntu as a distribution ceased to exist, its legacy lives on. MythTV continues. The core MythTV application remains active, with regular updates and a dedicated user base. Mythbuntu Control Panel Users can still install MythTV on Ubuntu or its flavors using the Mythbuntu control panel, simplifying the setup process. Wikipedia plus 2 MythTV.org plus 2 MythTV.org plus 2 Alternative Media Centers. Kodi, a versatile media player that supports various plugins and can integrate with PVR backends. Plex and Jellyfin offer user-friendly interfaces for streaming personal media libraries across devices. These alternatives ensure that users can still enjoy personalized media experiences tailored to their preferences. Is there still a place for HTPC Linux distros? In today's streaming-dominated landscape, the traditional HTPC might seem obsolete. However, for enthusiasts who value customization, tailoring media setups to specific needs. Privacy, avoiding data collection prevalent in mainstream streaming services. Offline access, maintaining local media libraries without relying on internet connectivity. HTPC Linux distributions still hold relevance. Projects like LibreELEC and MythTV cater to this niche, ensuring that the spirit of Mythbuntu endures. Mythbuntu may have faded into the annals of tech history, but its impact on home entertainment is undeniable. It paved the way for user-friendly, customizable media centers, influencing how we consume content today. As technology evolves, the essence of Mythbuntu lives on in the tools and communities that continue to champion open source media solutions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video! Peace out, everybody, and don't forget I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day.
So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye, have a wonderful day.